Peace. What's up, everybody? Tim here, and I'm bringing you something with Osbot. Go ahead and say something. Hey, people. Osbot here, and like TJ just said, uh, we're recording a video together. It's going up on both our channels. Yep. This is today's Saturday shenanigans for me, and just another let's talk for you, I guess. Yeah, let's talk on zombie apocalypse. I'll go ahead and mention that for mine, and if you want to use the video, you can, Austin, just let me know. Yeah. Uh, Alright. So, for mine, you should see Resident Evil 5 playing in the background. Courtesy of the Xbox Live Marketplace, I guess. So, today we're going to be talking about Zombie Apocalypse, is that correct? Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's what you said. Alright. Feel in charge, yeah. Which is why I chose Resident Evil 5 for the background. So, go ahead and get us started. Alright. Well, in every single zombie apocalypse theory, there's always one stupid person that goes and somehow makes the virus, and then somehow distributes it to the rest of the world. That is true. Very true. Most of the time, either the scientist or some fast food restaurant. We're watching you, McDonald's. We got a close eye on you, Burger King, as well. Those Whoppers, there's something suspicious about them. Yes. But, um, do I personally believe it's gonna happen? Maybe eventually, from our own stupidity, but... Touché. I mean... It's not gonna be anytime soon, I'm sure, because we don't have that much of advanced... Medicine, I mean, I could be wrong about that. But we don't have advanced enough medicine or possibly viruses in general to do it. Now, do I think we could overcome it? Probably. I mean, it, I would think so. What about you? That is really interesting because I honestly do not know. Because usually most people are so... Who Sorry. Are, like, freaking out about zombies so much that, that they run outside and act stupid or just suicide and that would be less manpower to take out the zombies and as a result hope could end up in spraying the virus even further if it was airborne. That's true. That is true. No, I mean, right now, I don't think we have enough medicine, technology, whatever you want to call it, like the most advanced thing we've done that's not war is I think we've cloned people. I Cheap. Think, not that we've actually cloned... Shut up, man. Well, if they have, the government's never told anyone. I don't think. No, I think we were talking about that in biology. Put my phone on the floor. Destination but, um... I think it's illegal because... Kind of going on a side subject here, but... Every time you clone something, I think you lose either a chromosome or a gene. So, eventually, you would just be killing people that you clone, and any family they might have, like, any family the clones might have. I mean, could cloning eventually become a cocoa zombie apocalypse? Sure. Sure, of course. But Honestly, I believe it will be one to three hundred years before a zombie apocalypse happens, if one ever does happen. Oh, at least. At least. And that's at minimum. I mean, like, a lot of people have been worried about that with, like, coming out with new vaccines for viruses and stuff, but... And some people spectate that 2012 might be a zombie apocalypse. I don't... Ugh, sorry. I don't believe in all that junk. Just, Neither of us do. Yeah. So, there's been enough into the world there is, like, we had one just a couple months Y2K. ago. Y2K. Yeah, Y2K. Oh, yeah. We had that, uh, rapture in the 21st of May. Oh yeah, I remember that. Then you had 2001 A Space Odyssey, actually. Never heard about that one. It was a movie. Oh. I'm pretty sure that wasn't an old movie. I don't know. To the Google, I suppose. Then there's the one that it's like, the world's going to get hit by meteorite besides like, 20 football fields in 2036. Which I talked about in my scientific theories video. Yeah. Um, do I want to say something? 
I know it was a book and a film. But I'm pretty sure it was about like the end of the world and all that. Did you hear that? But um and I mean all those never happened. Like Y2K was a really big one at the time, I think. Oh well, I know it was, but I mean It was like one of the biggest. It was the biggest, I think, yeah. Yeah. Although now twenty folks gonna be bigger. Yeah, it's already big. But I mean, they've all failed to happen, I'm pretty sure in nineteen ninety two or was it in 1990s? No, that was in 2001. Uh, Y2K was supposed to happen, right? Like on Y2K years? was supposed to happen January 1st, 2000. Not so. Why did I say 1992? I have no idea. I guess 1992, Y2K, I guess. I don't know. But I'm tired. But, um, when that happened, I think, like, um, I know a lot of people actually committed suicide. <laughs> A little before that, because they were afraid that it was gonna happen, which is stupid. But um, yeah. I think like a couple things in the world malfunctioned, but that was all. But it was nothing like the missiles and all the computers in the world, blah blah blah, like it was supposed to be. And since we're already majorly off topic, I just want to okay. go ahead and say this. Uh, it's like. The Earth's magnetic poles were supposed to switch 50 years ago, and they haven't switched yet, so scientists are, are starting to worry about when they do switch, what's going to happen. Hmm. Never heard about that. No, no, yeah. one thing's for sure, eventually the sun's going to implode. But then again, they suspect that's going to happen, not going to happen for another few billion years. Yeah. So we'll be good and dead by then. Yeah, our kids and our kids and our kids and our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids, etc. will be dead by then. Yes. So, uh, if there's a zombie apocalypse during our lifetime, where will you go, TJ? Uh, shut up, phone. I have my headphones on and I can hear that annoying noise. But, um, where will I go? Um, to the hood. Why? They have guns. And they are streetwise. And we all know zombies play dirty. They wait until you're in the bathroom. Exactly. Yeah, just like, money your business, taking a poop. It's coming there. You're, in the, you're not defended. That's why I'm gonna have like, um, let's see. I had a joke, but I forgot it. Um, I'm gonna have like cool run-ins at my bathroom door waiting on zombies. I would have a shotgun. I'd have like Mr. T out there. I'd have like a size 12. Mr. T, my personal bodyguard. But if a zombie apocalypse does happen, I personally would go over and go with my friend Nathan to his uh, dad's friend Skip's house. Uh, skips like a pretty major person or something in the, the like cops or something and he's like a millionaire and it's like he's got stuff to build like a crap ton of bullets and he's like a major weapons collector hmm. I would probably just fight for my family and my friends to be honest yeah Mason said he was going to take all of his friends yeah stuff. I'd be worried about my family first, and then once I knew they'd safe, I'd be that one guy who was a dumbass and went out there. My bad. I'll, I'll bleep it out. Who was a dumb person and ran out and just, like, went to save everybody. I'd be the Nicolas Cage of the zombie apocalypse. Oh, TJ knows my, like, the kind of stuff I keep in my room. I could probably kill how many zombies do you think with all that stuff? It depends. A lot. Yeah. If you don't know, I collect weapons. I collect knives, but they're all in a box right now, so... All my knives and swords, battle axes, and crossbows are out on my walls. Mine were, but then we moved, so... Yeah. Didn't work too well. Yeah, I've got one nunchuck by my bed. As well as a miniature crossbow. 
But I mean, zombies themselves kind of apply the religion in a way, if you think about it. Like, coming back from the dead kind of applies to religion in a way. Mm, true. It's like, if you think about from a religious and Christian point of view, the zombies could it'd be like the people that friends on Rapture. That is true. Which I bet no one ever tried to make that connection before. I highly doubt it. What time are we at, Austin? Uh, I'm at 10.26. Well, we started with running at about the same time, so let's keep this thing rolling for a little while. So, um, let's see. What else on your list of 9,000 things did you get that could relate to this? Uh -huh. And if you don't know, I, when he went to eat earlier, I spent like 20 minutes just listening to a song from Plants vs. Zombies coming up with ideas. Got like 40 or 50 of them. Oh, uh, let's see. Ow. Oh, we got Stephen Hawking. So, stuff that goes from zombie apocalypse, monsters, and vampires slash werewolf myths. In 2012. Mm. Well, we already discussed 2012. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me about the whole ball. Okay. Well, religion's controversial, so I mean, you can do that in a personal video. Which, yeah. I mean, we can do it together, but I mean, for your channel. Yeah. Not mine. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm going to break the Hopper talent and say that uh, the majority of myths about werewolves actually came from a genetic and chronic disease. Uh, I forgot what the disease is actually called, but it makes it so you grow, bo uh, grow hair like all over your body. And it's like the people that have it look like the classic old uh, wolf man. Huh. And I kind of want to mention this because it's been bumping around in my head ever since I mentioned it earlier. Schrodinger's cat. And I guess in a way that could apply to 2012 and stuff. I, I don't know how. But for those of you that don't know about Schrodinger's cat. What it was is you put a cat into a bunker of uh, gunpowder that has a 50% chance to go off and a 50% chance to not shut up, phone. Eh. And it's kind of like a whole curiosity kill the cat thing because the cat's not actually dead until you look into it and see it dead. So, And also the cat's not actually alive until you see it alive. And the gunpowder didn't actually explode until the cat sees it explode. Blah blah blah. It's kind, of a, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing if you think about it. But if you want to think further, who's seeing if we check the cat? Whoever it is might die too. Huh? Whoever does check in on the cat might die too. Yes. Like the gunpowder didn't blow up yet, but then you check it. <laughs> that would suck. I know. There's a 50% chance for it to blow up, and there's a 50% chance for it to blow up after you see it. Which, that made me think of something else that could go with this subject. We'll go right on ahead, my friend. Ghosts. Mm hmm I... I don't feel... I don't feel it, no. I don't... I don't feel this are real. I kind of believe they are. Guys, I used to see them all the time when I was younger. Mm -hmm. not, I'm not a freak. That's not creepy. I believe, like... I do to an extent, like, I believe people are s still there, but they're not. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of an irrelevant subject, but for those of you that ever heard the, Major the Haunted Majora's Mask, I haven't had that. Thing, you oh, sure, yeah. I'm sending you a link to that after this, it's creepy as hell. Alright. But, um, those of you that have ever heard that, the Ben kid came back through it, quote quote, and stuff like that, it's creepy, but, I mean, 
it was a good thing because it's around Halloween too. But, <laughs> but um, it's creepy. But dude, I think it's real to an extent. Like I said, I think they can come back, but not come back. Well, the main reason why I believe in them personally is because whenever you go up to my house. You usually hear footsteps moving up and down the hall by my room. It's creepy. Yes, yes it is. I do that's creepy. Um, I'm, I can be a squeamish person, so... Uh, I, that, I don't really like scary movies. I like scary movies if I'm watching them with people. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like You know like the best thing about scary movies? If you're with a girlfriend? Squ Red my damn mind, boy. Read my dang mind. No, oh, I hate scary movies. I can't watch them. But that's the only time I like them. Cause... I can't even watch them with people. Cause... When a girl... The scaring goes into y'all arms... You, you, you ain't scared of nothing. You're just like... Yeah. Like you could be sitting there curled up in the fetal position. <laughs> but... When she jumps into your arms, you're just gonna be like... Yeah. And since you mentioned Halloween, I'm going to go ahead and mention, uh, actually you do. Uh, I personally think Halloween has got majorly dumbed down in the past few hundred years. I forgot what Halloween was about. Wait, it started from something. Wasn't it it started from an old pagan ritual to respect the dead. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've watched many, many documentaries on it. I watched one thing about Halloween, and that was Billy and Mandy. Shut up. Don't judge my information. And for anyone that doesn't know me, back a few years ago, I would only ever watch the History Channel. And that was all I watched for like two years straight. I never watch this. I don't even watch cable anymore. I just watch stuff on Netflix on his account. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh... Anyone that knows open lead, hit me up. Hit me up, bro. 7493792. I hope that's not in anybody's number. <laughs> wow. But, but, um... I guess we can talk about superstition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all this... You got Resident Evil still in the background on my channel. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't... I, Resident Evil's a weird game. But, uh... Yeah. Superstition, um... I believe bad luck happens, but I believe it in the form of karma. See, now that's where I don't really know how to respond. Because... Your views. Well... My views on stuff like Friday the 13th, everyone believes that is such Friday an unlucky day. Friday the 13th happened because of something, I forgot why. I told you about that in one of my previous videos, oh, actually. Yeah. I, I knew I heard it from somewhere. Friday the 13th myth started because the Pope ordered that the Knights Templar be oh, yeah, murdered. Black Friday, I remember. And it was like Black Friday or something like that. And that was the day when a few thousand Knights Templar all died almost simultaneously in front of the Pope. God. And that was because the Pope became afraid of the Knights Templar because they became such financially ahead of the Pope that they could have bought out the entire country of, like, England if they wanted to. Wow. Yeah, you saw, yeah. I was wondering where I knew something about that from. The only person that knows stuff about the Knights Templar. At our school. That is true. Yeah. Not a bad thing. But, um, as far as, like, step on a crack, break your mother's back, break a ladder, about, or break a ladder? What? Break a mirror, step under a ladder, blank years of bad luck. Nah. Nah. Dude, when I was younger, I used to go, set up a ladder, and walk under it purposely just to try to get bad luck. Wow. Never worked. I wouldn't think so. I mean, like... Well, I was like two, so... Give me a break. Why were you handling ladders at the age of two? 
Actually, I just walked under them while my family was on them doing something to the oh. light. Well, you said you like to set one up. I was like, why were, and, you, why were you setting up ladders when you were two? <laughs> I woke up every 30 minutes last night. Don't judge me. I do that in the morning. Like, I'll wake up at 7, and then I have, like, a timer on my phone. So I'll set it for five minutes repeatedly until, like, 7.30. Nick's warm is uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah, I forgot you were over there. But, um... Yeah. Now, karma. I, I always believed in karma. Just why? I personally don't really know what to believe about karma. I believe in karma 100%. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen, so... I haven't seen it happen. But everyone can has their own freedom to believe whatever they will. That is true. Yeah. Which I'm going to go out on a major limb on this topic and say, hey, you should not judge a person just by what they believe, but you should judge them on who they actually are. Don't judge a book by the cover. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's, that's really true. And that goes to everything, including religion. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is, to every man his own. I mean, I know as a guy personally that needs to follow that rule, <clears throat> John Michael. But, um, don't down somebody's opinion. It's their opinion. It's not a fact. It's what they believe. And so that person I mentioned, I'm not going to mention his name again, but, um, he'll ask you for your opinion and then preach to you why your opinion's wrong. Either that or just says, oh, call me too. Oh, my God. According to you, at least. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. Shut up! That was TJ's phone. Just went off like seven times in this recording. But, um, what's the time at, like, 16 minutes? 22. Oh, my God. Well, think you're about ready to end it, Austin? Uh, sure, if you are. I, like I gotta go record Resident Evil 5 gameplay. <laughs> so, anyways, this has been Ospla and... Tim's all peas. Hope you guys have so, a great day. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye. Peace.